Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be chatting about the new Catrice Five in a Box eyeshadow palettes. These just launched at Ulta very recently here in the States, but they launched in Europe, I wanna say it was last year, probably last summer or in the fall. And ever since then, I have been hoping that they would come here. I actually sent Catrice a DM when these first launched and I kept seeing YouTube videos about them asking when they were gonna be coming to the US, but they never responded back. I don't know why. <laughs> but uh, I never got an answer. So I thought, well, maybe they're just not gonna be releasing them here. But then while I was on vacation last week, I got so many DMs from a lot of you asking if I had seen these hit the Ulta website on Sunday. And I was so excited. Thank you guys so much for the heads up. I ordered them right away while I was on my trip and they were here waiting for me when I got back. I ordered all four shades and these are $6 each, which is such an incredible deal, especially when you consider they look very, very similar to the Natasha Denona five pan mini palettes, which are 25. So I was really excited to compare these two, see how similar they are and find out whether these five in a box shadows are dupes. So we're definitely gonna get into all that. First, let's just take a closer look at each individual palette and I'll show you guys some swatches. So the first one is actually the one that I'm wearing on my eyes today. It's called Warm Spice Look. And this one has two shimmer shades and three mattes. They actually are all set up that way. And I love this because you have a light matte shade, then you have a mid-tone matte and a deeper matte. So in every palette, they're like that, which is really, really easy. And then you get two shimmer shades for the lid. This one is just really beautiful warm tones. It actually reminds me a lot of the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. So I'll be showing you guys a comparison a little bit later on. The next palette is called Golden Nude Look, and this one is just a very neutral palette. You actually have a couple warm tones, a couple cool tones. It's kind of mixed in that way. It's not as warm as the previous one. Um, so if you like a little bit more neutral eyeshadows and you don't want all of that warmth, I think this one is a really great option. You have your basic gold shimmer shade for your lid, and you also have a champagne shade, which is really pretty as well. Next up, we have Modern Smoky Look, and this one is is definitely more of a cool tone palette. For the shimmer shades, you have a really pretty light silvery taupe, and then you also have a gorgeous blue shimmer, and then you have a deep navy blue matte, as well as a mid-tone gray matte that's perfect for your crease. So I think if you like cool tones, this is definitely one to check out as well. But if you're not into blue eyeshadow, there's also another cool tone option, and that one is called Soft Rose Look. And this one has those really dusty pink tones. You have some gray. It's really, really beautiful. I love the shimmer shades in this one. I think they are so stunning, and I, I can't wait to use this one. I haven't played with this yet, but these colors are definitely right up my alley, so I'm excited about this one. So when it comes to the formula of these eyeshadows, I would say they were definitely easy to work with. Like I said, I'm wearing the Warm Spice one today, and I just thought the matte shades blended so effortlessly on my eyes. They were just really easy to diffuse out. They are very buildable as well, so they're easy to pack on a little bit more if you want more intensity. And also I thought the shimmer shades were just really creamy, very buttery, um, easy to apply with a finger. I didn't really find them to be super easy to pick up with a brush, but I tend to apply shimmer shades with my fingers anyway, so it wasn't a big deal for me. So I think so far for $6, you're getting a really great eyeshadow formula in here and super cute packaging. If you like smaller palettes that are a little more edited it down and not super overwhelming, then I think these might be a great one to check out. Catrice's eyeshadows can be very hit or miss, but I did really like this formula a lot. So um, when it comes to the Natasha Denona and how they compare, let's get into that. First of all, I did line up all of my Natasha Denona minis next to these to try to find some dupes as far as the shades go, and I really couldn't. There were some, especially in the nude family, that I thought were definitely more similar but I really don't think they were going for color dupes with these. I didn't find any to be very obvious jumping out at me like, yes, they copied Natasha Denona on these. So let me show you the one that I thought was the most similar, and that was the one that I'm wearing today, which is called Warm Spice Look next to the Natasha Denona 
mini nude palette. So I felt like these both have warm tone neutrals basically. And again, while they were not exactly the same, I did feel like they had a really similar vibe to them. So I think if you've been wanting to try the mini nude palette and didn't want to spend $25 on it, this might be a good option because you will get very similar looks out of it. But again, it's not going to be exactly the same. And then when it comes to the formulas, there's also quite a bit of difference between the two. And I was originally, when I first ordered these, I thought I would do a demo with the Natasha Denona on one side and the Catrice on the other side, but I couldn't find colors that looked almost exactly the same. And I just didn't want to be kind of wearing two different eye looks on camera. So I thought what I would do instead is grab some brushes and show you guys how these eyeshadows apply to my inner arm right here. And I just feel like it's skin just like my eyeshadows. So you'll be able to see exactly like how the mattes blend out in the Catrice versus the Natasha Denona. So um, let's go ahead and grab a matte shade first. And I'm gonna start with the mid-tone shade in the Catrice palette. And as you can see, this one, it just blends out so effortlessly, just a little bit on my brush, goes a very long way. It definitely spreads out really far on the skin. And it also does sheer out a little bit from the original color that was in the pan. So that's something that you'll wanna keep in mind if you like shadows that look really true to the color in the pan. I think that these Catrice ones, you're gonna have to build them up just a little bit because they do sheer out. And then I picked up this mid-tone brown in the Natasha Denona mini nude palette. And as you can see, this one, I feel like it kind of sticks to the spot where I put it a little bit more than the Catrice. I don't think it spreads quite as far and it retains its pigmentation. So that's something that I tend to struggle with a little bit when it comes to Natasha Denona's formula. It's just that they're a little bit more difficult to blend out because they're so highly pigmented. And if pigmentation is something that you're going for, I think you might be a little more disappointed in the Catrice than you might want to splurge on the real thing instead. I think though where it's most apparent is with the deeper shades. So again, grabbing that deeper matte shade in the Catrice palette, um, this one, it really shears out a lot compared to the mid-tone. I feel like this one, like I said, it's very, very obvious. It really looks like a faded out version of itself when you go to blend it. So that is again, something to keep in mind. You will have to build up this shadow quite a bit. And then on the Natasha Denona side, that deeper brown, um, this one, I had no trouble. It really does, again, retain its pigment and color. Um, but again, it is going to be a little bit trickier to blend out. So if you're not super good at blending, which I definitely am not, um, then you might struggle with this one a little bit and you might prefer the Catrice that you can build up to exactly the color that you want and it's not gonna be too overwhelming. But when it comes to the shimmer shades, I think that the Catrice palettes really hold their own nicely. I think compared to the Natasha Denona, they're fantastic. So again, let me show you guys a couple of the Catrice shimmer shades from various palettes swatched out. I'll show you guys that blue that's really beautiful and the purple from that rose palette that's just super stunning. I just think that these are really rich. They have a lot of shine to them. They're just beautiful. And I think especially if you apply them over a primer, they really come to life. And then let me just show you guys a couple of the swatches from the Natasha Denona mini palette so you can see what those look like. And I mean, I really don't see a whole lot of difference between these two. I think when it comes to the shimmer shades, Catrice really did it right. And I think they're fantastic. But again, I think they have the most grip over primer and that goes for the matte shadows as well. I did try applying these shadows yesterday without a primer and I just felt like they blended away a little bit too much. They didn't have enough grip to my skin. So today I did use a primer and I felt like it worked out so much better. So I would definitely recommend doing that just to get the most pigmentation out of these that you possibly can. But even on their own, I mean, they're gonna be very light, very blendable, more of a natural look. So it really just depends on what you prefer. Um, as far as eyeshadow primer today, I used the Alter Ego one, which I think is a great dupe for the Urban Decay 
um, primer potion. <laughs> so definitely check that one out if you haven't already. So overall, to answer the question whether the Catrice palettes are a dupe for Natasha Denona, I would say no. They don't have the same color stories at all, and they also do not have the same formula. I do think these are way more pigmented than these are. However, you can get around that by using a primer, and also if you just prefer something that's a little less pigmented like I do, I think you'll really enjoy these a lot. I think they are a really nice formula. Again, just very blendable as far as the mattes go, and I think the shimmers are definitely very intense and hold their own against the Natasha Denona. So for $6, I don't think you can go wrong with these. I think I would call this more of a similar product versus an actual dupe. So anyway, guys, I'd love to hear what you think down in the comments below. Have you tried out these palettes yet or are you planning on purchasing them? I always love hearing your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it so much. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy drugstore content and dupes, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thank you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.